We are Fort Earth. This site is Bison Precast Flooring. And on this site here, we have four facilities that we manufacture ground floor T-beams, hollow core products, and stairs and landings, which are sold to the residential market. So part of the process uh, for manufacturing T-beams is that we use five mil intense wire. Um, we have to stress those. When the wires are being stressed, they have a tendency to potentially slip, or if there's deficiencies in the wire themselves, they may snap. If either of the two happen, then the wire is going to be coming out of the bed and traveling toward the operatives. Unfortunately, four years ago, one of our operatives in shop one um, was actually injured by a broken wire, walking past the shop out, outside, and the wire actually exited the door. The management and health and safety looked at it, and they decided that there needs to be an exclusion zone, so everyone apart from the two operatives were out of the building and safe. Part of that stressing process, we have to have individuals in the shop um, to make the bed safe and lock the beds in position once the stressing process is done. So obviously steel booths or bunkers were put around the stressing area. <clears throat> so when they are stressing, at least they've got an element of protection. So obviously there's a risk there again with having people involved. The objective is to completely remove them from the process. So Ed Berridge, he works in the maintenance department as a mechanical engineer. A part of his um, college course BTEC that he's currently doing through us, he's come up with a um, improvement idea. The idea is it's very simple. Um, it's just generally two gas struts that are fitted on a movable plate that are pre-primed. Um, so when the stress head has finished its process, the two steel pins that currently the optics have to put in, the two gas struts will push the pin into position. So it's been manufactured totally on site, Ed's, Ed's been responsible for all of that. Uh, it's all materials we have on site or ordering in, but nothing's been done external. What we're going to do is install HD cameras above every bed. The uh, operator will go back to the control room and then once he's happy, he'll be able to operate the stressing process. The operatives will be able to view what they would do if they're in the bunkers. So they'll be able to remove everyone out of the building. So we're currently um, implementing it throughout shop one and we'll look to then roll that out into shop two, which is a very similar process. Uh, and then we have an extruded process in shop three, which will then look to develop a different system to, again, with the same objective to remove everybody from stressing.